We wanted to reflect the client's personalities in the apartment design. For this project, we were inspired by digital art illustration with geometric design and bold colors. The clients are an open-minded young couple, daring and willing to experiment with living in a unique home. We are passionate about researching and experimenting with the housing scale, as well as playing with colors. We truly believe that more is more. We used different colors for the walls and furniture to create zones within the apartments. Depending on where you are in the apartment, the colors change around you. Say hello to our new Never Too Small Essential Guide to Your Living Room, an easy to follow guide to design and improve your current small living space. Packed with expert knowledge and trade tips from our favourite architects and designers like Mariah Burton from Folk Studio, Nicholas Gurney and Jack Chen and Heidi Wong from Tsai Design. Whether you're a renter or a homeowner, and whether you're in the middle of designing your home or simply looking to make some impactful improvements, this guide contains all you need to transform your small living room into a space you will love to spend time in. Discover your own personal style, choose the right furniture for your space, be brave with DIY, make your small living room feel bigger. We will help you do it all. And the best part? You don't have to spend a fortune to make your space look amazing. The Never Too Small Essential Guide to Designing Your Living Room is the first in our Essential Guide series. Download your guide and start creating your very own Never Too Small inspired living room today. The apartment is located in Barrio Norte, in the city of Buenos Aires. It's a densely populated area with many old buildings and many cultural activities. The clients like to express their personalities through their clothes, hairstyles, objects and pretty much everything they do. We sought to optimize the space for their activities, such as music, art classes, and of course, relaxing at home. The apartments originally had a kitchen, living, dining room, and a patio. We love the high ceiling and thought it had great potential. We wanted to open the space, so we demolished the wall that divide the kitchen, living, and dining rooms to create a single space. Under the glass ceiling, we create a mini office studio and added a mezzanine bedroom above. As soon as you enter the apartment, you are able to see the entire length of the apartment, a large open space with the high ceiling. In front of the entrance, there is a dining space with a large wooden table and bench seats. It can be used as a desk or workspace and can sit up to eight people for meals. At the corner of the space, we create a small nook for a keyboard and some floating shelves. The dog loves to have naps under the keyboard. We left the kitchen as it was is still very functional and has lots of storage. We painted this part of the room in a light color in order to separate it from the rest of the design. In the middle of the room is a white metal breakfast bar with a built-in spice rack. The clients prep and eat most of their meals here. The wall in front of the fridge was painted black and was as a blackboard. The area under the glassing serves multiple purposes. On one side is a music studio and on the other side is a laundry and extension of the kitchen. The glass ceiling brings a lot of natural light 
which makes it a great place to work and entertain friends. The light also spills into the rest of the apartments. On the right side of the kitchen, we left the gap between the cabinets so that the cat had somewhere to play. This extends to the bathroom door, which also has small shelf for the cat. We removed all the existing cabinet division and generate a large cabinet for general store space. We also took advantage of the total height of the apartment and highlight the furniture with vertical lines to make this area look more spacious. The living room is under the mezzanine, as the ceiling is lower here. It creates a feeling of coziness and is a great place to lounge around with friends. There is a sofa, chair, coffee table and console units. Throughout the whole of the apartment, there are decorative items and books that belong to the client. This gives a personal touch to the space. The mezzanine is reached by a mobile staircase on wheels. It can be moved around the apartment to access the upper areas of the apartment since all the furniture extends to the ceiling. The mezzanine is a metal frame with plaster cladding which we painted in light pink to soften its appearance. The mezzanine was specially designed for sleeping. There is a double bed and two lamps which we place on the wall in order not to occupy the floor space. By the window, there is a net that allows light into the living room. This net can also be used to lie down or sit next to the window when watching TV. At the end of the mezzanine, we created a bookshop. It helps to divide the space and offer some privacy. We painted the arch pins on the mezzanine side and green on the kitchen side to help zone the areas. The bathroom is through the yellow frame doors beside the living area. We kept the sun bath because it has all the requirements that our clients wanted. Access to the patio is through a single pivoting glass door by the living room. We now open it extend the living area to the outside. It's a great space for the dog and cat. There are planter boxes that run around the entire edge of the patio. The plants help to bring a bit of green into the apartment. Here, in the city of Buenos Aires, many real estate developments generate oversupply with the sole purposes of profit. This creates tiny spaces without ventilation, poorly integrated with the city, among other issues that degrade the neighborhoods and therefore the city. We think it is important to update and reuse exciting spaces, to take advantage of them and avoid demolishing and generating new buildings. Thanks for watching. And if you're an architect or designer with a project we could feature, please share it with us at nevertoosmall.com/submissions.